Hello everyone and welcome back to Python Lessons on Codecademy. Today we will be finishing off the project called Battleship on Codecademy. So let's get started. On line 29 add an if guess row equals ship row and guess call equals ship column. So if guess row equals ship row oops row not war <laughs> and uh, guess call equals ship call so if you got the coordinates correct we need to print out the phrase congratulations you sank my battleship I will just copy that out because just to save time so let's see if we can guess it last time it was 0 and 3 so let's just do 0 and 3 Nope, we didn't get it. It was 2-2, two, two, so I'm guessing it was there, or no, it was there, because it's it works uh, differently. So we put the coordinate that's there, because we don't have a 5, the 5 is out of bounds, because it's a list. I just remember that, good to remember, so let's move on. Danger will be Robinson, okay. Uh, the example above prints out O, the element in the third row and fourth column. Add an else under the if we just made. So let's do that. Else, print out you missed my battleship. Print, you missed my battleship. Did I spell that correctly? I did. Set the list element add guess row and guess column to x so that we know that we've already guessed that so how can we do this um, as the last line in the else statement called print board board again so you can see the x x make sure to enter a column and row that is on the board so set the list element at guess row and guess column to x. How we should be able to do this is get board um, and because it's 2D coordinates then we just need to do guess row and guess call equals x uh, uppercase x then we need to print uh, oh, as the last line in my else statement so we need to print print board the function with board so we can see the x so let's see so there's something wrong line 34 name board is not defined of course it's not because <laughs> it's board Seven submit. Three and four again. Does not print you missed my battleship when the guess is wrong. Hmm. Yes it does. Or did I misspell that? Oh it's supposed to there's <laughs> there's an exclamation mark there. Okay then, let's try that again. You missed my battleship by one. Okay, fair enough. So it works which is good to know. So let's move on. Um, actually, no, let's not move on. Let's explain this in a bit more detail. So you have a uh, board is a list within a list. Therefore, uh, this first is row. So we get that's the so let's actually do this. So we have uh, five lists in bo uh, board. By uh, saying this we say axis uh, this list and from that list axis this value so in this case we're accessing the fourth list or the third index and in that list we're access accessing the fifth element or the fourth index and we're changing it to X 
hopefully that's clear enough if it's not please ask me in the comments and I will do my best to explain by actually using Python if I have to and I will message you back or make a video on it so let's move on bad aim <laughs> they can uh, so now we can handle both correct and incorrect guesses from the user but now let's think a little uh, more about the miss condition they can enter a guess that's off the board they can guess a spot they've already guessed and they can just miss the battleship if they miss so we'll add these tests inside our else condition let's build the first case now the example above checks if either X or Y are outside those ranges so yes count uh, that's the X and that's the Y just uh, easily explained count them as coordinates on a map the slash character just continues the if statement onto the next line add a new if statement that is nested under the else so let's do that if like the example above it should check if guess row so if guess row is not in range 5 or guess call is not in range 5 so you can literally just do if guess row not in range 5 because not is just saying so if you ha if it is in there then it returns true but false says if it is in there return false and if it's not in there return true uh, so it does the opposite of what it actually is like we covered previously in the earlier lessons in one of the first 10 I can't remember exactly now sorry about that but you can just check them out it should be something like gates or logic gates or similar to that so if guest row is not in range of 5 then or actually range of 5 or guess column is not in range of 9 not in range not 9 of 5 that's a long line <laughs> can we actually adjust this no somebody from Code Academy, if you're watching this allow me to adjust that because it's kind of annoying um, thank you if you do uh, so if that's the case print out oops that's not even in the ocean fair enough print oops that's not even in the ocean which will I will just copy after your new state if statement add an else so else uh, that contains your existing handler for an incorrect case guess don't forget to indent that code so we have indented it and uh, we need to add a handler for incorrect guess so what does it mean by that print that's incorrect let's see what happens now if this is even going to work so that's now it prints hmm prints that's incorrect although it is correct okay are we going to be able to fix this because it told us to put an else after your new if statement add an else that contains your existing handler for an incorrect guess hmm okay let's actually move on and see if that causes any problems not again add an elif to see if the guest location already has an x in it if it has print you guessed that one already so where do we need to add that elif here or here I'm going to add it here for now and see what happens elif um guess how are we going to do this oh yes we're going to do it with board guess row and so if this coordinate is already 
an x so if it equals the string x then print you uh, guess that one already okay two and three if you guess that one it prints it anyway hmm but it's actually not why does it do that I have no idea hopefully we can actually fix that so now you should have a game of battleship that is fully functional for one guess so thoroughly test your game make sure you try a variety of different guesses and look for errors in the syntax or logic of your program let's have a copy of that and try to fix it because ours clearly doesn't work properly so let's reload because it says the messages that it's not supposed to say let's see my logic so else you missed my battleship so if it guesses correctly it's going to say congratulations you sank my battleship otherwise if it doesn't guess correctly then it goes into here and says you missed my battleship um, hmm. maybe we should do this differently let's try this uh, here as an elif so elif and as well as this those then we can have that else so line 37 incorrect syntax because we already have an else here um, so no that's not going to work because <laughs> okay so let's redo that um, wait let's actually do this on Python because I think that Python will be more useful so let's come on Python open up so my what my problem is right now or was is that even though I guess it I do a correct guess or a valid guess it still print, prints you guess that one already and that's incorrect although it's not supposed to what happened to Python um, so new file okay sorry about that um, after digging around a bit I found that this is what you want so you can pause the video here to see and yeah that's the correct code that you need uh, I, I once again apologize about that and uh, next lesson we will actually be finishing it off with those five lessons and until next time please comment like share subscribe dislike tell me why you didn't like the video so that I can improve and until next time, have a good day.